in our community instead of going to other communities and stimulating those. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go from the chat. Someone is saying that they're hearing questions in reference to Austell and Mableton, but nothing in pertaining to Powder Springs. Elliot, I'm gonna ask you, what would you do for Powder Springs that have not been done by the commissioners before you? Well, it's kind of hard to say what the commissioners before me have and or have not done because I'm not aware of them. I know what I would do. It was going to create relationships. Uh, again, with even like with the board, you got to have, you know, three other, uh, two other members voted on you with you is to create understanding and relationship with the other commissioners. Um, I know in the time past, Commissioner Cooper had a hard time fighting to get people to come to these board meetings. We got to find more innovative ways to get the other commissioners to hear what we need right here in uh, District 4, either if it's Austell, Potter Springs, Mableton, South Smyrna, or South Marietta, is to get those other commissioners to understand the need that we have here um, more so, so we can move forward and be treated just like the rest of the county. So again, it's to create relationships with the other board members and find innovative ways to get them to understand that the need is just, just as important here as it is in their community or in their district. Thank you. Edwin? Hey. So I, it's an excellent question. And to BT about Powder Springs, I think, honestly, what I'm going to do um, compared to all the other commissioners in the past is truly be a voice for the community. That's a voice for all members of the community. That's for whether you, no matter what your, your status is, or no matter if you've been living here for 15 years or five years, I wanna make sure you are heard. I'm gonna come out to you if you need me, um, feel free to do that. And I think that's the best way to get things done because if you're not going out to the community, you can't be a voice for the community. And so I think that goes for all the communities and it goes for Powder Springs. Powder Springs is emerging. Powder Springs has its own city, but I think it has a lot of growth where we can bring new jobs into that location. Because as you see, Powder Springs is, basically it can be Lithia Springs but it's not, it's Powder Springs. So I'm gonna make sure that we not neglect any area of District 4, because if you do, then you will neglect the rest of Cobb County. And as county commissioner, while you're district representative, you're county commissioner for the whole county. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. In the representation of District 4, as I stated before, I'm not gonna be a commissioner for unincorporated uh, Cobb County District 4 versus the incorporated cities. I'll be a commissioner for the entire district and for the county. Powder Springs is strong. And the census in 2010, that area was one of the best areas in all of Cobb, not just South Cobb in terms of response. They're engaged and it is a vibrant and lovely community. I hope to serve them by bringing to that area other parks as well as what they have in the park development that they're doing right now. That's for part of Springs. What would I do uh, above and beyond what the past commissioners have done? I think there's been a greater visibility put upon the office of commissioner. I wanna grow on that versus doing differently. I wanna expand and make it more robust, bring more jobs and more outreach to all parts of District 4. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Presley. So, um, of course, one commissioner has brought the East-West Connector, another has brought Floyd Road. And so I have the distinct opportunity of building on what past commissioners have done. And right now we're ready for that significant investment. That's what I've been hearing as I knock on doors, as I talk to people on phones. I'm hearing that we want that. Um, significant investment in jobs, Think, uh, jobs that can pay our, as I mentioned before, more than six figures over $20 an hour, and industry like um, tourism that supports Powder Springs. Powder Springs needs traffic for restaurants that set up there so they can patronize them, and that's what the tourism does, and so does business and um, um, a new company coming here also accomplishes the same thing. We get traffic for those small businesses and the sidewalks because 
we are getting taxes from SPLOS as a result of people visiting, we'll get more sidewalks. We get capital improvements like road and resurfacing and, and sidewalks through that industry. Thank you. And lastly, Monique. Yeah, sure. Well, what I plan to do is your next county commissioner, which the previous commissioners have done somewhat, is to rewrite and amend our zoning laws. Once we do that, we'll be able to open up the floodgates for more development, for different development, for better development. So for example, one of the frustrations in our communities is dealing with tire shops. Well, the way the current zoning law reads, which is neighborhood uh, residential uh, um, community, the way it's zoned is that we can have tire shops, we can have a uh, car supply store like your auto zones and a retail shop. We need to have separate zoning for those type of businesses. Once we rewrite and rewrite and uh, amend our zoning laws, that'll give us a lot more flexibility in the type of development that we can attract to our community, and we'll have greater control over the type of businesses that will also come into our community. So for me, it would be priority one is to rewrite and amend our zoning laws. Thank you. Back to you, Joe. All right, wonderful. Well, I, uh, I hate to leave this discussion uh, to a close. However, uh, I, I think that um, we, we wanted to honor the time of the candidates here, as well as all those who are watching and viewing and attending uh, by way of Zoom this evening. Um, I want to thank all the candidates, Monique Sheffield, Angela Presley, Edwin Mendez, Jonathan Hunt, Elliot Hennington, Sheila Edwards, and Monica Delancey. Uh, I think you've all given the, the folks who've been on this, this Zoom platform here a great, great idea of your, your ideas and the things you push and your supporters and your priorities. Uh, I want to thank the attendees, all the folks who've been on here. You, you've obviously could have done other things this evening, but you chose to participate and to listen closely to what we had to say in this forum. Thank you to Trey and Jackie, the unsung heroes who helped make this all possible. Um, and uh, I, I definitely want to thank um, my co-host here, Deborah, and the wonderful folks at the Alpha Community Task Force. Uh, 